Hey guys, I'm getting ready for my next project, which is going to be <coughs> skinning the front bulkhead here with aluminum. I'm going to have to make a piece in the top center, front, and then a piece on each side. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to form them yet. It's really cold this morning, so I'm just kind of out here moving some things around, getting a little bit set up, and I'm hoping it warms up a little bit more later on. And then I'll come out here and I'll start uh, taking some measurements, cutting some aluminum. So what I'm probably going to do is do a lot of it as time lapse and then I'll do some breaks in between there where uh, I kind of show you exactly what I've been doing and show you how I'm doing it. Earlier in the week I went to the scrapyard, picked up some 050 aluminum. They sell them in 4x8 sheets, but because I've only got the SUV, I had to cut them in half. So I've got two 4x4 pieces that uh, should be plenty to do the front bulkhead with. This is going to be the first piece that I make. It's going to be the simplest piece. It'll be a nice piece to get some momentum going. It's going to mount flat to this piece, this piece, and this piece. It'll come all the way to the edges and it'll be secured with some 10 32nd stainless steel screws. When it comes to the bottom here, there's a little bit of a change in plane. So I'll have a brake line running right along the edge here to make it flat with this piece. And I'll have a notch cut out here to go around this. That'll be it. So that's gonna be the first piece that I make. One thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with this as my straight edge, okay? I know that this will be straight. With this, this is roughly 21 and 3 quarters inches wide, and that's pretty consistent. However, I laid these out, I welded these, I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna be a perfect 90. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this piece, starting flat here, I'm gonna go a little bit too long this way, and I'm going to go a little bit too wide this way. So if this is 21 and 3 quarters, I'll probably cut it out. I'll probably cut it out 23 inches wide. And then I'll set it up flush here. And then I'll lay it on top of this steel. And then I'll scribe those lines. And then I'll determine how much I have to cut in from there. Uh, this metal, although it's 2 inches wide, they have a radius edge. And I don't want the aluminum to come all the way to the edge because then that radius, the aluminum and the radius will overhang a little bit and it'll make a sharp edge. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hold the aluminum back about an eighth of an inch. Then it'll be on the flat surface and it won't be on the radius. So when I put my piece here and scribe my lines here, then I'll scribe another line that's an eighth of an inch in. And that's what I'll cut at. And then when I have these lengths, then I'll determine this brake line, and I'll break that and notch that out. Once I have that broke notched, then I'll do the same thing. I'll scribe a line here, and then I'll take it back an eighth of an inch, and then I'll cut it. Then I'll deeper all the edges. I'll make sure how it fits. I'll mark the holes, punch them out with my hole punch, and then put the panel on here, mark those holes, drill them, and tap them.
morning guys, it's Sunday morning. It's really cold out. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I've got done on this top panel here. So this is the panel that I worked on a long, long time yesterday. It's all bolted down here now. Go over a couple of details with you. If, if you remember me saying I was gonna hold the edge back a little bit, that's what I did. It's about an eighth inch back. That makes it so that this radius of the uh, square tubing is flush with the edge of the panel. That makes for a real nice, nice fit. Makes it so that when you run your finger over it this way, it's very smooth. Here's where I broke it. These are my 1030 seconds stainless steel button head screws. If you saw when I was laying this out originally, I was laying it out with a black Sharpie. Um, that's because the black Sharpie is uh, not very accurate. And so I'll use the Sharpie when I'm getting just the, the rough size. But then when it came down to getting more precise measurements, I was using a scratch all. And actually, if you look, you can see some of the scratch all marks there where I was centering for that screw and, and whatnot. The, uh, this aluminum that I buy <clears throat> has um, a thin layer of plastic over the front. That thin layer of, pl of plastic is to protect it. I always put that end facing out because that's the end that I want to look nicest. So when I'm all done with the car, I'll peel this plastic off. This will look real nice and all of my notes won't stay on there. And these scribe marks that I make, I make them very lightly with the scratch all so they're actually just in the plastic. So when I peel that off, almost all of those scratch all marks will be gone. As you guys can see from the time lapse, this takes takes quite a bit of work, a lot of running back and forth, taking measurements, cutting off a little bit here, a little bit there, making these notches, marking out these holes, punching the holes, and then transferring that to the steel, drilling it first with a pilot bit, then with the drill bit that I need for the size of the tap, then I tap it, then I run a slightly larger bit to give it a nice chamfer, then I test fit the piece. Sometimes I start with these holes pretty small, like just a little bit bigger than the 1032nd screw. So a, a lot of times what I have to do when I start marking all the holes and drilling them is I have to go with a drill bit and open up all the holes a little bit because some of my, uh, some of my tap marks will wander a little bit. And that's, that's to be expected. On this panel, they all lined up perfectly and I didn't have to enlarge the holes at all. Um, that's the best case scenario, and I'm, I'm glad that, that it worked out this way, but on some of the other panels, I've had to enlarge in the holes a little bit. That's nothing, nothing to worry about. That's just part of, you know, when you're, when you're marking out these holes, your drill bit's gonna drift a little bit. Where you, where you mark it with your drift pin is gonna, is gonna wander a little bit, so that's, that's to be expected. But I got lucky on this one, and, and every hole was right where it needed to be.